Hello, Bob. He is, is the 17th day of September 2020. I'm in Boomtown, uh, Verde, Nevada. Uh, it is still pretty hazy and smoky here. It looks like the uh, prediction looks like it's going to get a little bit better. That's nice because it is, you know, after a while you get a little, you, you, it just doesn't feel good, let me tell you. It's, about, it's listed as one unhealthy. 182 is the AQ. Uh, now, this is, um, what I've been doing, this is the old one. I've had this up a little bit. And it goes, there it is, it overtakes, right? Seven seconds, tortoise goes at its speed, uh, Achilles goes at its speed, and the relative motion, go back to the beginning, you do it one at a time, relative motion, and it's uh, either you can think of this as uh, the tortoise approaching Achilles or Achilles overtaking the tortoise, either way. Overtaking is the way the and goes and then it gets closer and closer and then it overtakes and this is the way it actually happens at least uh, in my experience now I tried this idea going back and uh, this part is right the time is going to get shorter and shorter as the distance gets shorter and shorter but this doesn't quite make it and it introduces a different image uh, this is actually the uh, fretboard image, actually. How the frets are on a, a guitar are uh, spaced. And uh, there's some similarities, but not enough. I tried something else a little bit. I don't know how this is, this is going to show up or not. Yeah. Let me do it. Yeah. Uh, this is... Uh, now we're trying to do it match up with the, Achille, uh, what the Achilles actually says. So uh, uh, Achilles... Uh, reaches the first point the tortoise was at and the second in it, it reaches the second point but the tortoise has moved ahead a little bit but again uh, the image is a little bit more confusing than I would like okay so I did another one and then this is where it is this looks similar to um, the first one but there's a few changes being made here so that I can do it but I haven't finished it takes a lot of thought sometimes and uh, the clock is still going one second at a time. This, you'll notice that this is not changing yet. I haven't done it. A lot of work to do on this. And uh, we shall see. But that's the status. Oh, hold on. I forgot yeah, what else I had done. Uh, I had gone through the research, and these are the general ideas. The Achilles says space is not continuous. The arrow and some others say that space is not discrete. And there's no logical way to decide. Uh, so Dedekind said, regardless whether it's one or the other, there's nothing to prevent us from filling up its gaps in thought, in pure math. Okay? Now, Zermelo Frankel's set theory does something like that. It sets forth the axiom of infinity, and, we can def and then we can define the limit of a convergent series, and then we can get an answer. An overtake we can do an infinite amount of steps in a finite amount of time okay uh, then current Robin says the infinite enters only in an unending procedure not an actual quantity and more importantly I think continuous motion has eluded all attempts at an exact mathematical formulation uh, that will take a little bit more uh, explanation somewhere in even in my mind and used to be fish fry on a comment on one of the uh, oh one of the uh, pages I had looked at again at least uh, what now four years ago at least and I think it was more than that is the question meaningful is space-time really continuous or discrete now fluxions and infinite series from Newton it's, that's the beginning of calculus and analysis. And what I recall from somewhere, I don't know exactly where that quote come from. He, using a language which I believe is basically from the old ancient Greeks, put a frame around the system of the world and um, the world operates within the mathematics I have set forth here. Okay? So we don't know exactly what everything's going on, but it operates within these limits within these boundaries of mathematics. If 
von Neumann truth is much too complicated to allow anything but an approximation. And that is kind of where I go come from at this point in time. And here we go. Here's the axiom. Well, it is an axiom. Let me put it this way, according to Dedekind. Uh, this is con continuity in, in one sense, one in my best image so far of this. Uh, it just keeps going and going and going. There is no next point in any sense that you can measure. It just keeps going and going and going and going and going and going. And going. Where are you going to put your, uh, your uh, point and your separation? So, uh, and that is between, if you talk in continuity and uh, of the number line, etc., etc., every point, everywhere, all the time, always, forever, and for as long as your grandmother lives, as, you, as long as your great great grandson lives, and ever before and ever after, and even, you know, it's uh, beyond any human uh, kind of comprehension, so to speak. But it's a concept that you can, you can use. And then continuous motion has eluded all attempts and the exact mathematical formulation. You can't mathematize this kind of a, a concept. You have it, you think it, everybody kind of thinks that way. And uh, Zeno exploited that. Uh, and when he made up his paradox, he said, hey, maybe you're, you're not quite thinking quite, you know, maybe you don't have as good an idea about these stuff, this stuff as you think you do, which is probably correct. Here's the axiom of infinity, according to... I just wrote them down, and they were actually done in, I think, in first or second order logic or third order or some such logic like that. And these are uh, uh, allegedly a English translation of that kind of language. I've seen it, and I, yeah, I'm really envious of people who can do that. Yeah, that's really nice. That's really cool. It's really quick. But I can't get it there, and neither can anybody who is being introduced to the subject. All right? We have to start with something we can understand. And uh, this uh, is rather beyond my understanding itself. Let me see if I have anything else here. Okay, here's uh, calculus is fluxions. Here's, uh, what, what, well, I'm trying to get to calculus, right? And here is what uh, Newton uh, Here's where I, I grabbed hold of something when I read this. Newton uh, said wanted to fit the doctrine recently established for decimal numbers, which Napier introduced. Stevens introduced the subject, but he had, had a difficult uh, uh, notation system. Napier had a good uh, 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 system of notation, and that's the one we're using today. And he, his uh, doc, his uh, doctrine uh, is the one we're using today, and that's the actual language that uh, Newton uses at the beginning of the method of fluxion. So why don't I understand what the doctrine of species is? And let me do a little get bit more. I, I can't get it to come up on search term. What, what, what's going on here? This is what Newton says is, is calculus, and we can't get it to come up on search, you know? Anyway, Napier used the decimals in his logs. I'm not sure where yet. I looked over, and I think it's a constructio before he actually uses it. And uh, apparently pretty much is used today. And uh, after that, you've got to go on to, you know, what else happened between, uh, say, uh, the original descriptio, then the constructio, Nipi's already dead, and then uh, Briggs has taken over, but he doesn't quite use the uh, uh, decimals as far as I know. I read a little bit about it, but I can't find any more. Anyway, uh, oh yeah, I like this one. And Newton specifically states, infinite series is to algebra as decimals are to arithmetic. As an idea in the discovery of calculus, it may be that that's what he's calling calculus. But he calls the fluxions and infinite series a combination of motion and and stop mo sort of stop motion, you know. Practically used for both involves the ease and accuracy of calculation. All it is is a whole method of replacing the calculators we got today, right? Yeah, think about that one. Anyway, it's an approximation to a quote pleasing precision. I have. Two words to describe what I think of this word pleasing, but they're out of context. We won't use them. Okay, that's it.